So Google Drive is great for creating a document and then collaborating with others in real time where you're editing the same document at the same time. But sometimes that's not the best way to have students working and you want to provide them with a template that they can make a copy of and then do their own original work. So what you'll do is make that template in Google Drive. Here I've got a daily warm-up that students might use and I want them to make a copy each week that they would then fill out and share back with me. And then what I need to do is I need to set up a folder. And the difference is, is that this folder is only going to have viewing rights. So the students will have to make a copy of whatever is in that folder. So I've made a folder called Mr. Hard's Templates. And I'm going to come down here to the Shared Settings and click on Share. And then I'm going to enter the names of the students that I want to share it with. You might want to set up a Google Form and have students fill in their email address for you and then you can go into that spreadsheet and copy and paste the list of all of your students names and paste it in here that would save you a lot of time uh, of course they do have to enter their email addresses cor correctly or if your district has a spreadsheet with all of your students uh, email addresses already formatted for you you could copy and paste from that otherwise you could come in and just enter them by hand depending on how much time you want to spend so I'll go ahead and enter a student's name now. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make sure that this folder is set to view only. That way everything that I put into this folder can't be changed or modified by the students. I could have it notify them by email, but I'm going to take that feature off for this time and then skip the warning message. And then I'll click Done. What the student will need to do then is they will need to go into their folder and click on the Shared With Me tab and then they will see a folder called Mr. Hard's Templates. Clicking on that folder will bring them to whatever documents are inside there. So let's go ahead and move our daily warm up into that folder. I'm going to click on the check, marks, check box next to daily warm up, go up to the Organize folder and then move this into the folder. Again, you can drag and drop files, but I have had some bugs occur with doing this, so I like to use the Organize feature. I'll click Move, and now if I go back to our student account, you'll see that the daily warm-up is there. When the student clicks on that daily warm-up, they are going to see that it is a view only. You'll notice that the toolbar up here has very limited options. But what they can then do is come over to the File tab and click on Make a Copy. At this point, I would encourage students to get rid of the title where it says Copy of. And this would also be a good time to put in the week number and click OK. This then makes an original copy for the students that they can edit. They can go in and start making changes to that document. And then just like we did in the teacher Google Drive account, we're going to click on our drive, find the daily warm-up that we just created, and move it into the folder that is shared with the teacher. So we go up to Organize, click on the folder, and move it. Now the teacher will be able to see any changes or modifications, give feedback, issue a grade, etc. So that's one strategy for setting up templates that students can use in your classroom with Google Drive.